This video will show us how to save prices that are in our summary into our master database. Now in this example, however I get my prices in, if I manually type those prices in, as I'm doing now, I'm just manually typing in prices. If I import these prices from a spreadsheet that I had gotten from my vendor, if I use a pricing service to get the prices. So again, however I get these prices in here, right now they are good as long as I am in this job. If I create a new job, they will not see these prices. In this instance, I want to save these prices back to my master database. So I've typed in some new prices or I imported them in, however I got them here. My vendor is CED. This icon here, this, I'm sorry, this dollar sign icon says update vendor pricing. When I click on that, it will update whatever vendor I'm showing. So it's very important that I have the correct vendor um, selected. So I've typed in some prices or imported them in from wherever, and now I'm going to click this dollar sign update vendor pricing. Once I click on that, it says summary prices has been applied to the vendor and I am going to click OK. Now, we will go over into our main database just so we can see that these are the prices. I'm going to use my snipping tool just to make a quick copy of these prices so we know what numbers we should be looking for. So now I'm going to go to maintenance and items. If you get a message, just click OK. And I am going, I'm in my conduit category and I'm going to go to EMT. Again, EMT resides one time in your database. Half inch EMT is one time, but it can have 10 different prices. So since this was CED, again, if I bring this over, in summary, I typed in 38 cent and that is what is showing here. For my three quarter inch, I typed in 64 cent in summary, and that is what is now showing in my master database. If I, in my summary for the one inch, I typed in 96 cent, and that is what is now showing in my master database. Again, every time you run a summary, it goes to your master database to pick up that price. And then that price is what you will see in your summary. So it's a lot easy sometimes if when we're in summary to go ahead and put in our values or however you're getting those prices and then send those prices over to your master database for that particular vendor.